Life is crazy. I have completely underestimated how hard it would be to produce, shoot, edit, be a good wife, be a good dog mom, travel. It's been crazy. I'm talking three states, 14 hours of driving. So we have some catching up to do. I know the last video we left off going to Arkansas, but a lot happened on our trip, so I wanna backtrack. You ready? We made it to Arkansas. <laughs> I feel like we've been driving for two days. It's because we have. <laughs> First and foremost, it was Nick's 24th birthday. Check out what I did. All right, so Scout is asleep. Nick is officially at the field, and I am at a place called Nothing Bunt Cakes. So every year for Nick's birthday up until this point, we've kind of done distance. So I have always found a bakery nearby the field that he's playing at, and I have sent him a cake or cupcakes or something along those lines. So I figured I'd stay with the pattern even though I'm here. I looked up cake places in the area. I found this place, it has good reviews and it's actually a chain. Super excited, let's go check it out. This is my first time going to the stadium and trying to figure out um, how to get these into Nick. So this should be an adventure. <laughs> It's super cute. It's like right by a river with a bridge. Oh, I know someone. Hey! Hey! Oh, that didn't work. So, let's see. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Where am I? This wasn't, not, no, this wasn't right. This wasn't right. Oh, I see an employee. Employees, go find an employee. That's how you do it. Got my cakes. All right, here's the stadium. So, that's a win. Mm -mm. That didn't work. Let's go this way. The buns have been delivered. Success. I went to the ticketing office and the gentleman there said that there was a actual office with a door that I should go to. Stop beeping. So I just went in there and there were two wonderful women that helped me. Um, they called a gentleman named Jeff and Jeff came and got the bunt cakes to deliver. There's Jeff. Oh, Jeff just walked by with the bunt cakes. There's <laughs> Jeff. As I'm driving away, I see a guy walking by with the bunt cake bag. So I'm assuming it's Jeff. Bless your heart, Jeff. Thank you. This is literally such a fail. So this is such a Corinne thing. So I start driving back to the hotel and I, I have no idea where the hotel is. And I came here with Nick who typed it in. So I, I'm lost. I have the room key. Here we go. Oh no, there's someone behind me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have the key. That didn't help. That didn't help at all. Okay. I have the key packaging thing. Don't try this at home. Where is this hotel? Oh no, this is this is the wrong hotel. This is the wrong hotel. I have this little key card thing, but it's for the last hotel. It's for the last hotel that we stayed in last night. So we're gonna try and find. Um, gonna try and find our hotel. I think it's called the Embassy Suites. Okay, so the only way I know how to find this is there's a Waffle House next to it, and there is a P.F. Chang's. So I typed in Waffle House. I thought it was called Embassy Suites, but I don't, maybe it's not. Okay, I know I went over a bridge. Hmm. Okay, I have great news. <laughs> I literally thought that the hotel was called the Embassy Suites and it wasn't. The only reason I found this is because I knew there was a Waffle House and a P.F. Chang's by our hotel. So I ended up typing in Waffle House and a million Waffle Houses popped up, but I typed in P.F. Chang's and there's only one and it's right by our hotel. So. I have found my home. I am headed back. The second thing is that we found the coolest app for Scout. Here's all about it. We are headed to the dog park. So we have a couple hours before Nick has to go to the field. We have been using an app called Bring Fido. We have Jake and Mallory to thank for recommending the app to us. They are also a traveling baseball family and they have two five month old puppies. So they've been using it, recommended it to us and this is our first time using it. And we really like it. You just type in where you're at 
and it will bring up a bunch of different options and my favorite part is you can see reviews of people that have been there before i think reviews are one of the most helpful things when we look at stuff like this and then it gives you how many miles away we have chosen to go to a dog park called murray park burns park <laughs> burns park dog park we're gonna go check that out it looks pretty cute this is what it looks like on the app so um there's water and i'm sure scout will get muddy and dirty but it'll be fun so there's three different sections which a lot of the dog parks we go to are kind of split up like this for big dogs and small dogs um so lots of room we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit wear out before we go back to the hotel <laughs> Scout, you're gonna squash your friend. What are you gonna do with him? Probably name him. Remember when I said Scout's always dirty? <laughs> So luckily every dog park that we've gone to has had some type of a hose system. So she gets dirty, but we're gonna hose her down. You ready to go? And last but not least, we had to travel from Arkansas to Northwest Arkansas, but it wouldn't be a getaway game if there wasn't any drama. So instead of starting the game at 6 p.m., we started with a two and a half hour rain delay. That means we didn't even leave the stadium until midnight. Take a look at one of the best examples I've had so far about the minor league life. I just dropped Nick off at the field and it is a getaway game. So today, well, after the game tonight, we will be driving to Northwest Arkansas, which is about three hours away from where we're at Little Rock, Arkansas now. I have Scout, we had to check out of the hotel. We're gonna go find um, somewhere to get her exercise. Here we used that Fido app again, and it took us to a park that was um, only a couple miles from the Arkansas Traveler Stadium and it's called Murray Park and it's actually way better than the last one we went to. She currently has like a whole tree she's playing with right now but we're gonna go find the dog park. Scout, come here. Good girl. Where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Okay, so due to weather, the game is just starting and it's 8.30. The game was supposed to start at six, which really sucks because that means that we don't get on the road until like two and a half hours later than we expected for our three and a half hour drive to Northwest Arkansas. So Scout is finally gonna get settled inside in the offices and then I'm gonna go into the game and hopefully it's a quick one. That's a wrap for Arkansas. But what's next? Glad you asked. Next up is a tour of Northwest Arkansas's baseball stadium where I ride a train through the entire thing. Stay tuned.